a lollipop in here. Okay. I've come across many conversations on the internet about how fashion is stupid or personal style is stupid and overrated and the smartest people are like Mike Zuckerberg who only wear the same things over and over again to prevent decision fatigue. And I don't think that's entirely fair, especially from the aspect that we really do judge people very harshly on their clothes and people who dress better are more likely to do better in their careers. They're more likely to feel better. Sure, Mark Zuckerberg wears the same thing over and over again, but that might not be because he's preventing fashion fatigue. That might be because he just doesn't care about it. As someone who kind of does care and there's nothing wrong with caring, I would say that there's nothing wrong with wanting to feel beautiful or feel confident in your outfit. I would say that the days that I am my boldest, I get the most done, the days I'm the most excited, or even my best days are the days I feel confident in my outfits. So instead of just fixing the capsule wardrobes, like, okay, I have to wear these same five pieces over and over again, what I do is that I go into my closet, pick out five pieces of clothing that inspire me. So I pick those five pieces out and I build outfits around those five pieces. So it's Sunday today. Um, this week is kind of busy, not nearly as busy as last week. Okay, so for me right now, I'm going with a red suede jacket. I just got back from the dry cleaner, a rented leather blazer, plaid mini skirt, cause I'm on this weird, I kind of like preppy clothing. So I have this skirt and vest combo that I really like, but I think I only want to style the vest as of right now. Ooh, hold on. This, I like, the alternative details. I'll make a whole episode about buttons one time, which I know is like a very small thing, but buttons kind of make or break a difference. I would say this this one piece represents a lot of my entire wardrobe because it walks that line of masculine and feminine very tightly, so. Okay, so take one piece at a time, place it on the rack or the section of my closet and style a whole outfit around it. But then I'm going to try it on. One, I feel comfortable and confident. And two, it's a outfit that actually looks good and makes sense to me, at least. Okay, so wide leg jeans because I like the idea of giving it kind of a 1970s feel since this is a very 70s color. And this is actually a blouse from the 1960s that I got at a vintage store. Um, that is lace. I think it'd be nice, little feminine accent. I know how to do things. As you can see. So you got the wide leg trousers. It's so protected. It's not nearly as bad. Okay. I feel like it looks like girly Captain Jack Sparrow. So I'm actually going to put it all on one hanger. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna fold the jeans over, fit the blouse, and drape the jacket on it. So it is not taking, it's not too bulky, it doesn't take too much space, and it's a really easy grab and go. Jeans are folded over the, the hanger. You got the blouse with only one button done, so when you're getting ready, you're not stressing about it. You got the jacket over it. You're just gonna hang this up. This is outfit number one. Number two, you have very chunky, it's gonna be harder to tuck in. Um, I don't know. It's like fine, but I also feel like, so if you look really closely to the details, you have the spackled and then you have the plaid and I feel like that might be an overkill. I normally like to have a lot of balance with my wardrobe, so let's try the white. Okay, oh, but I do like this. So next piece is because I am renting it because I don't want to buy it because it's made of polyurethane, which I've talked about on Instagram, but it is a, it's oil, essentially, it's plastic. So when we say pleather, polyurethane is what it's made of. So when we say vegan leather, you really gotta be careful what you're actually buying. There are some companies that are getting into it. I'm gonna make a video on different types of leather and fake leather and what's actually worth it. But keep in mind that your best bet is almost always vintage. Um, so I'm gonna go with this. It's very trendy right now, and I can't bring myself to spend money to buy. I can't bring myself to purchase something made of oil so I can rent it. Okay. Yeah, so these are two very different shades of black, which I'm actually okay with. Yes, see, I am very glad I did not buy, but I rented a masculine blazer moment. Okay. 
So I bought this because it reminded me of the Carrie Bradshaw naked dress. Um, so I feel like this will be a good contrast. Okay, so got the naked dress on, got the blazer. I'm gonna show you guys all of these outfits throughout the week when I wear them, but I think this will go really well with like a high heel. Um, it is kind of boxy though. So if I want something a little bit more defined, this is not it. Okay, so this is the final piece and this is going to be the hardest piece to style. Actually, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is actually do a khaki everything. Okay, so this is why I would try it on because I do not like this color combination at all. Um, yeah, no. Okay, when I bought this from Information, it, the top fit perfectly. The skirt was too big, so I might have to, there's this like gap back here that I'm a, hu a huge fan of, so I wore this blazer, if I can get it on with it. Okay, yes, I like it a lot. This is way better, okay. Now that we have picked out all of our outfits for the week that spark creativity or make us feel better about ourselves. What we're gonna do next is pick out all the pieces that need to be ironed or steamed. that probably should have been the first step was to check the weather because it is raining and I don't really want to wear any of those outfits while it's raining. So what I'm going to do is style one of the pieces into being an appropriate rain outfit so I don't freeze to death. Yay! You have kind of contrasting tongs, but I don't hate it. Actually, I kind of like it a lot. It's just... I kind of feel like when I get down and sit down in my office, I'm going to have to take this off uh, and uncuff my blazer, but other than that, yeah. I'm going to go with this is a lot of pattern, and I do not care. We ignore this. It's really interesting, the fact that I feel like this color, this jacket almost changes color based off of what lighting I'm in because right now it's very red and that at night it looks very orange. Surprisingly I like this more the second day I wear it. So I actually have my tights on. You can see, but I actually am tucking my sweater into my tights because skirts are unreliable. Um, the few times where I pick out an outfit and in my brain it doesn't look nearly as good as it does on a person and this is the exact opposite of that, so. I like it, but I also just like tall boots. Okay, so clearly I did not finish out the week the way I wanted to. Um, I'm also not clipping this onto my sweater right now because it's cashmere. That you should be dating your outfits, not married to them. Not everything's gonna go according to plan. I did not plan for the fact that I was going to have to install a bunch of soundproof panels into my boss's office. That's why I was wearing my boyfriend's flannel and jeans, but I did eventually wear that outfit out. I was out shopping with one of my girlfriends I was able to wear that outfit out and I was very happy because I was also in a rush and I just grabbed it and went out. So I would say after doing this challenge, there are a few things I would do. Uh, one, I would probably choose five or six outfits and I would maybe make one of them a very active outfit. So I didn't wear on my last day of the work week. I didn't wear the vest and skirt combo that I was planning, even though I love that outfit. I did end up wearing shopping with one of my girlfriends, but I didn't wear it out to work like I was planning on because I ended up having to install some soundproof paneling in my boss's office, which meant that I was wearing jeans and a flannel. <laughs> 
I think this is a really good way to start planning outfits and dressing yourself without stifling creativity and without sacrificing too much time. I think the decision fatigue is a real thing and I don't think it has to be like that. Anyways, thank you for watching. What are your personal, what are your personal tips on how to plan for a week accordingly? Let me know in the comment section below.